This episode of Get It is brought to you by the color green. It is green. Yay! The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be some. So here's a funny question. Will the sun rise tomorrow? So, will the sun rise tomorrow? That's a stupid question. It is really not. Of course the sun will rise tomorrow and, may I add, it will rise whether we watch it or not. And how can you be so sure about that? Because the sun rises every morning, always did and always will. Okay, but is it enough to affirm that it will rise tomorrow? It is. It's not. And at the same time it kinda is. This problem has been introduced reason? Don't. by Pierre Simon Laplace sometime in the 18th century. And it is a real problem. It makes you wonder, what is an admissible scientific proof? And the underlying question is, what is science? Science, as you may already know, doesn't hold any truth. Science doesn't tell the truth. And obviously, science doesn't tell anything. It's, it's just science. Saying that it tells something is an, an expression. expression. Jinx! Science doesn't work that way. Do I look like someone who's afraid of breaking a jinx? <gasps> you just broke, broke a jinx! 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 Science creates theoretical models. It intends to explain how things behave more than how they really are. In other words, science theories are always only theories. Scientists know they can't explain everything. There are just too many variables, too many parameters to take into account. Take Newtonian gravitation, for example. It's pretty efficient when it comes to calculate the movements of the planets. But it doesn't take into account all the asteroids and rocks and dust you can find in the solar system. Yet it is efficient. Unless things move too fast. The closer you get to the speed of light, the more those calculations will be wrong. And that's the thing about science. It's only right until proven wrong. And don't get me wrong, I love science and I love scientific method. But one has to understand its frailty to understand its beauty. Please unjinx the moron. You're free, you moron. Thank you. Science is made to be attacked. It is supposed to be attacked. And that's why science remains correct whether you believe or not. It doesn't rely on your faith, it relies on your ability to prove it wrong. So, the sunrise problem. It's easy to hold some truth as self-evident, such as the fact that the sun will indeed rise tomorrow. But how scientific is this kind of proof? This question is related to probability. Because, let's face it, we have no reason whatsoever to believe that the sun will rise tomorrow other than the fact that it has always risen every known past day. And this problem can be seen as a Bayes problem. Thomas Bayes was a Presbyterian minister and a statistician. His works led to a theorem known as the Bayes Rule, which was later rediscovered by Laplace. And here's how it is. Instead of just taking a hypothesis into account, the sun rising in the morning, you assign the probability to this hypothesis based on prior probability. How many mornings did the sun actually rise out of every morning you can think of? And while it remains possible to take this result as nothing more than a personal belief, because it only evaluates a probability, another way is to take this result as a valid scientific proof. Which is wrong. No, not really. Which is kinda wrong. No, it is what it is. It is a scientific proof, not a truth. A scientific proof, valid until proven wrong. Basically, you know the sun will rise tomorrow because well, because it has no reason not to, and always has this far. This is also what science is about. So tell me now, do you get it? One may argue that the sun rises because the earth is spinning, and since it keeps spinning, the sun will keep rising. But ask yourself why the earth keeps spinning. It will lead ultimately to a well, because it has no reason not to.